Hi, Will from Music Tech here at the NAMM show in Anaheim with Roger from Apogee. Roger, we're looking at the Apogee Effects Rack plugins, right? Yes, What's we the are. story? So uh, finally, Apogee is doing software plugins. It's been a long time we've uh, been developing these. And of course, our first, uh, first idea is to make some great sounding plugins. We've come up with a really uh, useful suite of five plugins. We have what I would call a modern plugin, a modern EQ and a modern compressor. That means it has a really wide range of capabilities from very transparent to very radical. We also have three modeled plugins based on classic uh, analog gear. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, an optical compressor that's one of Clear Mountain's favorites. We thought there wasn't a good one in the market, so we did our own LA3A model. Yep. Also, we have two Pultex. The great thing about the Pultex is they are actually endorsed hmm. by Pulse Techniques, who makes the hardware Pultex. Right, okay. It was, we have a partnership with them that was announced here at NAMM. So it's a great suite of plugins for both tracking, uh, for mixing and tracking. But what's special about the Apogee FX Rack is the fact that it runs as a standard native plugin in your DAW but it also runs on hardware DSP that is part of our Apogee Ensemble and Element Audio Interfaces. In fact, these boxes shipped with DSP, and it's only now that we're actually unlocking the DSP that's always been in there. So the cool thing is, you have a native plugin. You don't need the hardware to run it natively. You can disconnect the hardware, but when, if you want to do hardware, uh, let's say equalizing or, or any sort of plugin processing, it's available in the hardware. We can also link those two plugins. If you're doing things like direct monitoring with plugins, our system is the simplest way to do many of these workflows. And so that's the big deal. It's got DSP native capabilities at the same time. Okay, so how, can you buy these separately to the interface or are these bundled with interfaces? Right. That's a great point. So they are for sale separately. Mm -hmm. um, also, when, if you purchase an ensemble or an element, you actually get the mod the, uh, the modern compressor and equalizer for free. Mm -hmm. uh, and the others, the Pultex series is $199. The uh, Opto 3A is $99. Uh, and the Mod EQ and the Mod Comp are uh, $149 each. They are available from our website. And um, you know a lot of the uh, dealers that um, use various plug-in distribution systems, you can get them there as well. And is this across all uh, major plug-in platforms then? Of course, yes. Excellent. Uh, and finally, what's how does it work uh, trying to control the, the DSP uh, plugins right. from, from the desktop? Yeah. How is that different from running it natively? Right. So really the idea, and um, it and gets... From a user perspective. Right. For example, if you're, if you're using direct monitoring, mm -hmm. usually with direct monitoring you have your DAW mixer and then an audio interface low latency mixer. Yeah. You're right. What we do is when you open up a plugin in your DAW, you link it to your low latency mixer. So they just act like normal plugins in your door then? Exactly, and, but there's a control link so that everything you do in your DAW is mirrored transparently so that you don't have to do the setting. You can right, stay in okay. your DAW. And that's really the pain point that we're addressing mm. is we want everyone to stay in their DAW so they don't have to bounce between apps. That's exactly what the real uh, interesting feature of our uh, Apogee FX rack is. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Roger. My pleasure. Thank you.